What are the top six coolest neighborhoods in the Tri-Valley area? Guess who made the list? It's all coming up, stay tuned. Hi, I'm Warren Oberhalser. I'm a realtor in the East Bay Tri-Valley area in Northern California. My channel's all about helping both buyers and sellers get maximum results for one of their biggest investments, their home. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. I post new content regularly. Before I begin, I want you to know I'm gonna cover a lot of material. Don't worry about taking any notes. All the material I cover can be found in a separate blog I've created specifically for this video. You'll find a link for it in the show notes. And make sure you stay to the end so you can get my Tri-Valley neighborhood bonus. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room. What determines a cool neighborhood? That's a good question. So to make this video fair, I created some measurements or criteria to apply to each city so I could rank and rate their neighborhoods. Here's the criteria I used. In order to qualify as a cool Tri-Valley neighborhood, you need one, a good location, two, a unique feature or features, and three, a good neighborhood price. Now the price doesn't reflect the cheapest neighborhood in the city, rather a good deal or value for what you're getting. Of course, my picks are pretty much subjective. However, being in the business for a while, I kind of know what buyers are looking for, or more important, what they think is cool. And to keep things exciting and fresh and a bit challenging for me, in this video, I will not feature any neighborhoods I have featured in my previous videos. Well, enough of the ground rules. Let's get started. We'll begin with Alamo. The neighborhood is the southwest side area. This is the older part of Alamo. Homes were built in the 1930s to early 1960s. Original construction was from 900 to 1400 square feet. However, many homes have been completely remodeled, adding additional square feet to the property. Lot size, from 8,000 feet all the way up to a half an acre. Location it has quick access to Danville Boulevard and the 680 freeway, but it's conveniently located from the Alamo traffic area, making it a quiet setting. Cool factor, it's location close to Iron Horse Trail and Los Trampas Ridge. Here's Danville, the neighborhood, the homes located on Glasgow Circle. This is part of Diablo Highlands community. They were built in the late 1980s to early 1990s. Average home size is from 1,800 up to 2,800 square feet. Lot size from 5,000 to 7,000 square feet. Location, it's conveniently located off of Camino Tassajara Road, which gives quick access to the 680 freeway. However, it's tucked away just enough to be quiet and secluded. Cool factor, some of the properties have backyard canyon views. Okay, let's look at San Ramon. The neighborhood is Pine Valley. The homes are built in the late 1960s to early 1970s. You'll find a mixture of one to two story homes. The majority are single story. Average home size range from 1,000 to 2,400 square feet. Average lot size from 5,000 to 9,000 square feet. Location is great, close to the freeway, parks, and schools. Cool factor, you're close to everything, including parks, schools, and the glass house museum. Let's take a look at Dublin. The neighborhood is Creekside. The homes are built in the mid-1990s. You'll find a mixture of one to two-story homes. Average home size is from 1,500 up to 2,800 square feet. Lot sizes are a bit small, around 4,000 square feet. Located right off of Dublin Boulevard makes it convenient for 580 freeway access. Cool factor, close to everything, including Hacienda Crossing Shopping Center, and yet the neighborhood is in a quiet area. Here is Pleasanton. The neighborhood is Mission Park. The homes were built in the 1960s. This neighborhood is primarily made up of one-story homes. Average home size is from 1,400 up to 1,900 square feet. Average lot size is from 6,000 up to 10,000 square feet. However, there are some cul-de-sacs that have lot sizes over 12,000 square feet. Location, close to the freeway, shopping strip mall, main street, parks, and schools. Cool factor, you can walk to downtown Main Street and the fair. And last but definitely not least is Livermore. The neighborhood is Sunset East. The homes were built in the late 1960s to early 1970s. Average home size is from 1,000 up to 2,300 square feet. Lot sizes are from 7,000 to 10,000 square feet. Location is outstanding being the residents are within walking distance to the schools and Robertson Park. Cool factor, close to numerous activities, including the Livermore downtown area. Now here's my Tri-Valley bonus. If you'd like to get a list of properties for sale in the coolest Tri-Valley neighborhoods I just went over, that includes the property's features, pictures, and price. And click on the link down below so you can get immediate access to them. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. 
Post any questions or comments you may have down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. I post new content like this regularly. If you found this video interesting, you might want to watch this one, the cheapest condominiums in the Tri-Valley area and the pros and cons for the Tri-Valley area. So stay tuned. I have more helpful videos like this coming soon. Wishing you all the best on your home journey.